Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. After sharing my 10 cards, one kit video using Love From Lizzie's November card kit, I received multiple requests to do a second video. I guess some people want to see me use up all the pattern paper, just like I do with my 6x6 videos. I do feel like the monthly kits are a bit different than simply using a 6x6 paper pad. Lizzie really packs a lot of fun and unique items into her kits, things I enjoy using and that help push me out of my comfort zone just a bit. But I still have a love for pattern paper and I didn't want any of the November kit paper to go to waste. For this set of cards, I really tried to focus on the pattern paper. Other than a couple dies and cardstock, I basically only used products from the November kit and a few of the add-ons from the November release. I also want to mention the November kit is sold out. However, there will be a mini kit released on November 19th featuring many of the items in this kit, including the lovely pattern paper. I will include a link to the mini kit once it is available. Okay, so let's get on to my first two cards. The sketch is number 361 from Mojo Monday. And for the background of both of the cards, I'm using some of the specialty cardstock. So I have the green apple mirror cardstock and then some of the textured pearlescent or it's maybe embossed pearlescent paper on the other one. And then both of the little animals are one of the circle tags. I just cut them a little bit smaller using a circle die. And then I use that background cardstock to cut out that matted circle. And then I put some of the ribbon across both of the cards and then just adhered it to the back using a little piece of score tape. And I just wanted to pop both of these circle elements up using some foam dimensional tape. And then once I get both of those in place, I'll go ahead and just put those card fronts onto a card base using lots and lots of adhesive like I usually use. And for this set of cards, I did leave just that thin white border from the card base. And now I wanted to add a sentiment. On most of the cards for this part two video, I actually didn't add sentiments to them. But for these two, I decided I needed some. And so I pulled out the roll of washi tape that says Happy Christmas. And I never used that in my part one video. So I thought I would use it this time. And then I'm just adding it to some of this mirror silver cardstock. This is the specialty cardstock. It just makes it pop just a little bit on the card. And then for the other card, I'm just using one of the little punch out sentiments. And then I'll just adhere both of those down. And then just a last minute touch, I pulled out, I still have a few of these little gems from the October kit. So I decided I'm gonna try to use them up in this video. So just put three of them on each of the cards, just that upper corner. And they are adhesive, but I always like to use some extra glue just to make sure they stay in place. For my next set of cards, I'm using MFT sketch number 408. So I had this piece of pattern paper that had four little circle elements with the little critters in the middle. I had, there's a green sheet and then there's also this white sheet. So I decided I'm going to use all of them. In the last video, I did use one from each of the sheets. And so this time I decided I'm gonna use the rest. So I just used a circle die and cut out all three of them. So I'm just using the white ones right now. And then for the background of the card, I don't have a whole lot of full sheets of paper left of the pattern paper. So I used the one with the little trees and the snow falling. And then for the other two, I used some of that specialty pebble embossed paper, which is really lovely. So I'm just gonna adhere all of these in place 
For the one with the pattern paper, this card, I use some of that silver matted mirror paper. And then the other two, it's just some white cardstock. And then for this little banner that goes behind all of these little circles, I'm just using a little bit of this glitter cardstock that comes in the kit. I didn't have a lot of it left, but even just that little touch of it adds so much to the cards. It's really pretty. And all of this extra cardstock I did include just from my craft room. This blue, I'm not even sure exactly where it came from. I just, I have a lot of cardstock, so I pull out ones that look like they coordinate to the best. And now I'm just adding some foam dimensional tape to the back of all these little critters just to give it a little more interest. So for this set of cards, I'm not going to be including any sentiments on the outside of the card. So I'll leave that part blank. And then when I decide what I'm going to do with the card, I'll add a sentiment to the inside. And more than likely, I will be donating these cards most of my cards I actually donate to a uh, local retirement as well as a couple small charities nearby. So these will be perfect maybe for a winter thank you or just a general hello. So now I decided to add just a few of the Nouveau drops following just like it is in the sketch, those three little circles. And then I did add three more little tiny drops to that upper corner of the card. And I do, I always get nervous using Nouveau Drops because sometimes if you push too hard or if there's just that little air bubble in there, it kind of splooches out on you and makes a mess. But I lucked out on this set. It did not happen. So I really liked how these three turned out. For the next set of cards, I'm using Mojo Monday sketch number 421. So this card is designed as a tall and skinny card, but when I figure out measurements, I do make them all A2 size cards instead. So now I pulled out that green sheet that's similar to the previous cards. It has that little circle design with the cute little critters on the inside. And so this time I used a stitched circle die, cut all of those out, and then used some craft cardstock for all of the layering and the matting. And I'm just gonna adhere all of those together. And the background paper for all three of these cards is some of that really pretty white pearlescent embossed or textured cardstock. I think that was one of my favorite add-ons from the whole November release. This paper is just really pretty. For that long skinny banner, I just used a scrap of this salmon kind of pink cardstock that matches really nicely with the like that inside of the little bunny ear, there's a hint of it on the fox, and then there's a little sprinkling of berries on that little circle element. It's always nice to just draw out just a hint of another color. And now I'll just add some foam dimensional tape to pop up that circle element. And even with that little hint of the pink, I think this set of cards still works really well for masculine or feminine cards. And once again, I left the sentiment off. So this will be a perfect set of cards for donating. And usually when I donate cards to the retirement home, I do write an encouraging message on the inside. So a little last minute touch, I used some of this silver sparkle ribbon that comes in the kit. And I just tied a bow and adhered that with just a little glue dot to all three of the cards. For my next card, I'm using Freshly Made Sketches number 347. So at this point, I only have this one full sheet of the pattern paper and then this larger blue pattern design. So I'm only gonna do one card using this sketch. For just that little extra sparkle, I did include some of the clear glitter iridescent peel-offs. So these do not come in the kit, but you can always buy almost all of the color of peel-offs individually. 
And the clear glitter peel-offs are definitely one of my favorites. So I always make sure I have an extra sheet of two. Don't ever want to run out of those. So now for the sentiment on this card, I did use one of the punch outs and just matted it on some of this blue card stock. And I'm just popping it up with some more of the foam dimension. And I still had a few of the felt snowflakes. So I decided to add the large blue one to this card, just adding a bunch of the liquid adhesive. And then I held it down with my ATG gun and it actually did sit there for a lot longer than that split second. But I did shut off the, the video while I was letting that dry. And then I used one of these tiny little silver stars and just adhered it to the center of the snowflake. And I wanted just a little more interest around the card, so I pulled out the Nubo Drops and I put one kind of covering all the little tiny snowflakes on this pattern paper. And then I added a few more because it seemed like there weren't enough. And yes, that one in that top corner did kind of splooge out just a little bit on me, but I was able to clean it up. For my next two cards, I'm using Freshly Made Sketches number 95. So for the background, papers on both of the cards. I'm using some more of the specialty cardstock. So I have the embossed pebbled cardstock on the left and then some more of this textured pearlescent paper on the right. And for the pattern paper, I really only have just these narrow strips left, kind of about two inch pieces. So this sketch works perfectly for that. So I could use about four more of the pattern papers on this card. And I made sure to use a lot of adhesive on the back of these pieces to hook to that specialty cardstock. Usually when you have embossed paper, you wanna add just a little more adhesive to make sure it stays in put. So for that tiny little banner, I pulled out some more of the little tiny scraps of this glitter paper. Love this glitter paper. And then I'm using a few of these craft tags and then tying them on the top with just a little of this thin peach ribbon and then a little piece of the burlap ribbon like one of the threads came loose so I pulled that off and then so I could just put the two together on the top of that tag. So I'm just adhering that glitter paper down and then trying to decide if I want the tag straight up and down like in the sketch or just slightly crooked. I pulled out two of the punch out die cuts from the kit. So these two cards will have a sentiment on the front. And then I wanted to pop them up just a little bit. So I used some of the foam dimension. And I was going to add this little piece of washi tape behind the ribbon because I didn't want it to move. But the washi tape wasn't quite strong enough. So I just took a piece of my score tape and put that on the back instead. And I'm just gonna adhere those tags onto my card. And I did add another layer of the foam dimension behind the craft tag as well. So these cards just are a little on the thicker side. So I'll probably be including them maybe with a Christmas gift this year. So just one final little touch, I decided to put three Nouveau drops in the upper corner on each of the cards. So now on to the next two cards. I'm using reverse confetti sketch number 33. So I had a bunch of different pattern paper, just some small pieces, and I used a stitch circle die and cut out four of each. So I have four for the blue card and then four for this green card. And then I used some of the mirror paper just for that background rectangle element. And then I'm just adhering all of those circles down. And I decided not to add a matted layer to those this time. I think there's enough contrast with the mirror paper behind them as it is. And I think this is my last piece, or at least big piece, of this embossed pebbled cardstock. So I was a little sad about that. 
but I do still have a few small pieces and I believe you'll be seeing them in the next couple cards coming up right after this one. So after I get all of these circles adhered in place, I decided they needed, that I just needed something else on top of the card. So I pulled out one of the word acetate pieces and then also my last of the felt snowflakes. So I wanted to pop up the Noel word. And since I don't want the actual foam dimension to be visible, so I cut these really, really thin pieces and I'm putting it only behind where the silver of the word is. So that way you won't be able to see it from the front. And I had to cut some pretty thin pieces for this. So now I can just peel off all of those backers very carefully and then I'll just put that in the center of all of those squares. So sorry about the reflection with my overhead lights. I just, I can't help the, the reflection I get on anything shiny that I use. So now I'll use some liquid adhesive again on that snowflake. And I did hold it down much longer than you saw with my little ATG gun. And then just finishing touch, I decided to pull out the sequins because I realize, realized I hadn't used any of the sequins yet in this video. So I just have a couple in the upper corner and then a couple in the lower corner. So now I'm on to my final two cards. I'm using a cover die from Little Inker Designs called Perfect Palette. I'm a huge fan of all the fun cover dies that are available, and I love some of them that have these really tiny pieces, these little openings, because they're great for all the little tiny pieces of pattern paper that are left over from a kit or a six by six paper pad. So I went ahead and used all of those tiny scraps that I had left and cut out all of these little circles. And then I put some score tape on at the back of that cover die frame. And now I'm just inlaying all of the little pieces. So I have some of the specialty paper as well as the pattern paper. So I kept one of them more of the blue tones and then the other with the greens. So I really like how these turned out. And it's interesting that whenever I ask what favorite cards everybody has with my six by six videos, almost always my very final couple cards using these little scraps are everybody's favorite. So you'll have to let me know what card or cards are your favorite from this video. So I wanted to add just a little more interest so I pulled out some of the pretty green apple peel offs from the kit and I'm just adding a thin, the really thin pieces going across them, like right between all of the circles. And then on the blue card, I didn't really like the green with it. So I did pull out that, the clear glitter iridescent peel offs again. I'm just putting one on in between each of those little circle lines. And I did go and tuck the ends of the peel offs behind at first and then I realized I need to take the backing of the score tape off. So that was kind of pointless. So I had to unpeel those and then I could take that backing off. And you might notice a little piece of washi tape. When I cut out all of those little tiny circles, I use a piece of washi tape to hold them in place on the die. And I don't always remember to peel off the rest of that washi tape. So that's all you see when you see the back of the card there. So then I just matted both of those, one on craft and one on this blue. And then I decided to use another, well, a couple more of the acetate words. So I have peace and love. And then once again, I'm gonna pop those up just to add a little dimension. So I have to cut these really, really thin pieces of the foam dimension and just add them to the back, just where that silver words are. It definitely takes a little bit longer, but I think the end results are worth that extra work. 
So these words are just so lovely. The script is really pretty and they really stand out and add some nice shine to the card. So now I'll do the same thing for the peace word. Well, and I didn't mention when you use these acetate words, they have a, like a thin plastic covering over them to protect them. So make sure to peel that off. Otherwise you won't get that really pretty shine from them. And I try to cut enough of the dimension to cover most of the letters or at least a little part of each of it. That way none of the word is sagging in the middle or anything. So I'll get all of those little tiny backers off and then I'll place that one on my card. And I did put that one up just a little bit higher just so it wasn't, there wasn't too much contrast. And then I still had just a little tiny bit of this glitter paper left. So I cut some larger banners to put in the upper corner of each of the cards. So I really like how these two cards turned out. Nice variety of all those pattern papers. And then I realized I had one more of these little stars left. So it kind of went perfectly with the peace card. So now here's a quick recap of all 15 cards I made using the November 2018 Love From Lizzie card kit. So for the first part, I made 12, and so now I have an additional 15, so 27 cards total. And here is all that is left of the pattern paper. Not very much. And then here's what's left of the kit. So there's the specialty paper. I still have the large circle tag, some of the punch outs, a little bit of the sheet, the sheet of stickers, some of the acetate letters, the felt animals, some sequins, a couple of the tags. I still have quite a bit of the ribbon. I guess I didn't use as much as I thought I did. And then of course, uh, more of the peel offs, the dies, the washi tape, the little wood trees and the jingle bells, the stamps and the stencil set. And of course the Nouveau drops. So as I mentioned before, the Love From Lizzie November 2018 card kit is sold out, but Lizzie will be releasing a mini kit using a lot of the same products and that will be listed on November 19th. So I will have a link to that mini kit in the description as soon as it is available. If you enjoyed my video, please subscribe and don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I always appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.